Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I got a few requests uh, to show uh, my bracelets that had created for Linda's September uh, inspo challenge. Um, so I made a video about one of the bracelets uh, that I created for her challenge where we designed the bracelet uh, in the video. But I had created two more before that and um, I got some requests on Instagram to share uh, those bracelets in a video. So I thought uh, before I take them apart, I'll show those, vid uh, show those bracelets to you guys. So um, these are my two bracelets and um, the first one I'm sharing with you guys is this one. And um, this is on this Pave heart clasp bracelet. And it's mainly black and white with splashes of cerise thrown in. So um, as you can see, it has these end clips and these are the mystic floral clips, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's what these are called. And they're really, really beautiful clips. And they have this beautiful, beautiful enamel flower. And if you can see, I don't know if it's catching the light and showing up on camera, but the enamel has a slight shimmer to it. If you can see that. And in the middle, you have this uh, clear CZ. And it's the same design on both sides. So I really, really like these clips. Uh, next, I have this open work charm and this is called Picking Daisies. And then I have these Muranos here and uh, I'm forgetting the name of these. I think, is it the Wildflower Meadow Muranos? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll put it down here what these are called, but I love the detail on these Muranos, the different flowers and the shimmer, slight shimmer that you see in the background uh, at the core. Very, very pretty Muranos. Then I have these opalescent petite facet charm. And then I have these, these are my main clips, and these are the Shimmering Rose clips. Beautiful clips. They are so sparkly. I love, love these clips. And then my middle section comprises of, in the middle, I have this white orchid flower. And then flanking the orchid, I have these spacers. I think they're called Inspiration Within. And then two black uh, fascinating Muranos. And then the other side is like a mirror image of this side uh, with the petite facet, the Murano, the clip. The only difference is instead of the picking daisies um, open works charm, I have this floral open works charm and this came out in spring of this uh, year. So that was the first bracelet I created for Linda's challenge. And the other bracelet I created, and this was the, was the first one I created, is this beautiful bracelet that I'm in love with. And I wear this so much. Um, and it's on the classic barrel clasp. And again, it has um, end clips because I didn't have extra safety chains. Uh, so I just put end clips on, whoops, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I put end clips on these bracelets and um, I don't remember the name of these uh, end clips, but uh, Pandora recently in the autumn release came out with these end clips, uh, but instead of this beaded detail, on the edges, instead of the beads, it has tiny hearts all around it. They're so pretty. And I love these. Uh, so I'm contemplating getting those ones too, just because these are so versatile and could go anywhere. But anyway, so yeah, I have these clips on here. And then 
I have one of these floral uh, charms. Again, I don't remember the name of this. And this was um, released spring collection of this year. So I have that. It's just so many different flowers and colors and uh, you know it has enamel all over it it's beautiful i really really like this then i have the olive fascinating murano on here and this just reminds me so much of fall because when the leaves start changing they first start changing to a different green from the bright green it starts becoming a little dull so this is what uh, reminds me of uh, that leaf leaf color um, and then my clips on here are these and these are called the enchanted heart clips and I love these clips these are very chunky and they're very vintage looking to me very um, you know the scroll work on them it's just so beautiful I love these clips and I love how substantial they are now my middle section here, um, the first charm on here is this two-toned heart charm. I think it's called the Vintage Heart Charm. And this came out uh, one year on Mother's Day, but I wasn't collecting then. So I, I did buy it um, pre-loved and I love this charm. It's so beautiful, the details on it. It's very, very pretty and I love the puffy heart in the middle that's 14 karat gold and then I love this charm too this is called the forest trinity and it has the leaf the bird and the green stone very very nice charm and then I have the queen bee with her 14 karat gold crown on top of her head I love the queen bee I love her expression, I love the details on it. Just a wonderful, wonderful charm. And then the last charm I have in the middle section is this beauty and this is the Radiant Grains of Energy. Beautiful charm. And then again, an Enchanted Heart Clip. And another uh, fascinating Olive Murano. And then the last charm uh, on here is this, uh, I think it's called the Inner Radiance Charm. And there's uh, different versions of this charm. Uh, there's a rose gold version and then there's a Cinderella version where the middle stone is blue. But this one is clear CZs in the middle of the flower. You have these pale yellow uh, CZs on both sides. And then my end clip again. So it's a very simple design, very few charms on it. And I love the movement of this bracelet. And this is my oldest bracelet. So it's quite loose and it's not stiff at all. So I love how it fits, fits on my arm and um, on my wrist. And I love the movement of the charms. And it's very comfortable to wear. So as I said, I've been wearing it a lot. So these are the two bracelets I created, uh, the other two bracelets I created for Linda's challenge. And I'm so sorry about the lighting. As I said, I in a previous video, I filmed with natural lighting and so the sun is playing hide and seek behind the clouds. So it's kind of changing and I'm sorry about that. So yeah, so these are my two bracelets. And I've been loving wearing both of these and um, also the third one that I created in another video. I'll link it down below. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!